Right Mind Studios. Hey guys, this is Travis from RightMindStudios.com. In our last video, we gave you a glimpse of the beginnings of our studio. We also mentioned that we were in a new room, and that room had a lot of reflection. So what I mentioned was I had picked up some RLX acoustic treatment that I was going to put up in the room and do a follow-up video to show you the difference and show you the effects of that. Now there are two things I want you to get from this video. One, acoustic treatment doesn't have to be expensive. Of course, the more you spend, the better quality you'll get and probably the more effect you'll have in your studio, but there's a lot that can be done on a budget. Second, it's important that you get acoustic treatment as soon as possible. I like to compare it with eyeglasses. When you first get eyeglasses, you probably didn't know that you needed it. They either gave you an eye exam or someone told you to read something that you couldn't see. But once you got the glasses, you noticed the difference right away. The same thing with acoustic treatment. When you're in your studio and you're playing your music without acoustic treatment, that's all you know. Once you put acoustic treatment up, you'll see the difference. It's important that you get it. So what I did was I picked up some RLX Studio Wedgies. Okay, it comes in a pack of 24. It's two inches thick and it's one foot by one foot. They cost $109 and I'll put a link down in the description and on the screen too. I picked those up and I placed them around the room and it made a huge difference. I'm gonna show you the difference here in a minute. But let me tell you what I did. Using the mirror trick, which you can Google, I put uh, treatment up on my first reflection points. Then on my right wall, I put up four panels. On my back wall, I found with the mirror again where the speaker was going to be reflecting and put two panels up in the back. I put a panel to the left of those just to fill the space and I put one on the back of the door. On the left side of my room, I have a closet. I slid the door open, I hung a bunch of clothes up. For now, that'll work. I put a panel up beside the closet and I put a panel up on the other closet door. As far as my windows here, I put up a curtain for now. Pretty thick curtain and it seems to be doing fine. After I did that, I clapped my hands and I noticed a high pitch echo going on in the front of the room. Therefore, I put up two more panels on each side near the top front part of the room. I also added a carpet on the floor. Finally, I got a mirror on the ceiling and found the points that my speakers reflected off the ceiling into the area where I was sitting and I put two panels up there. After I did this, it was a huge difference. What I did was I sat a microphone up in the position that I'm seated. I played a beat before I put the paneling up and recorded it. I played the same beat after I put the paneling up and recorded it. Check out the difference. I picked a second beat and did the same thing. Here's what I got. Now that's a major improvement. The bass tightened up, the mix tightened up, 
it really got rid of all of that echo and false noise that we don't need when we're mixing. Hey guys, thanks for watching the video. Check us out at RightMindStudios.com. Like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, subscribe on YouTube. We'll have lots more videos to come. We're currently turning this studio into a full-time business. Subscribe to their blog, follow along as we do that. Thanks a lot for watching.